Quran is full of stories of people who lived thousands of years ago who worshipped other than Allah. You had Bani Israel who worshipped the golden calf, Prophet Shu'aib's people who worshipped the Eka tree, the people of Yemen who worshipped the sun, and the pagans who worshipped idols. And I'll bet you've wondered, what do these stories have to do with me? It's 2023 and I don't worship idols. But what if I told you that every generation has its idols and 2023 is no exception? Idols aren't just statues made of rocks. An idol is anything you put at a top priority in your life. Anything that takes up your heart and replaces a law. An idol is that thing that steers your every move. I mean, just look at people at concerts, how crazy they get being around famous singers. There's a reason that show is called the American Idol. Sometimes we care more about an actor's favorite color and the last meal he ate than we do about our own prophet and his companions, the ones that we should actually be taking as role models. If I memorize the top soccer player stats and I haven't memorized any surah from the book of Allah, there's a problem. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's opinion of me takes a back seat to the opinion of my social media followers, there's a problem. If I have time to binge watch a show on Netflix, but I don't have time to make my prayers, there's a problem. Don't be deceived by the fame of those around you. Just because someone's rich and famous, it doesn't mean that they're successful. Pharaoh and Qarun were rich and famous, while some of the prophets were poor and had very few followers. Now you tell me, who are the successful ones among them?